Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get the music badge in Stray. We need to collect eight pieces of sheet music and return it to the musician. He's just to my left there, just off screen. And once we've done that, we will earn a trophy called Meowlity. Now, first one I'm going to show you is near the garden. If we take the left path where the paper bag was, we're going to input a code into this uh, box here. 1283 is the code, and that is the sheet music. That's number eight. I know I have them labeled out of order, but that's just the order I found them in. All right, sheep music number three from the guardian. I'm gonna turn around. We got the bar right in front of us, but we're gonna head over towards grandma. Right before we get to grandma, we're gonna see two people, two robots sitting on the ground covered in blankets right here. And just before them, just to my right, is a door that we can scratch by uh, hitting the triangle button. And then L2, R2. Someone will then open the door. This will lead us to the third piece of sheet music. Right in front of us there. Okay, number five. I'm going to jump out of here. And you see the bar right in front of us. We actually walked right past it a moment ago. We're going to go inside of the bar, go up to the second floor. There are two things up here. One relevant to this video, but the other item is a memory. Of course, we need to get all the memories for the platinum. But also in here is sheet number five. All right, so number six, we're just gonna go jump outside this window. And then we are going to curl around and go up basically to the top of the building right above us. We're gonna see a window and underneath the window is a pipe that we can walk on. That'll get us into the window. We just gotta jump up from here. And there's the window. Now for this, we have to go through the door in the back room. One of the notebooks items is nearby. I'm not giving any story spoiler stuff, but just for your reference. All right, so we're gonna leave this house, jump out the window and go up just over here to the left. And there's gonna be a table, the sheet music on top. I'm gonna have a moment here trying to get up here. I promise eventually I will. All right, so number seven, you can see we are up on the top of the roofs, not far from the sleeping man. Here is the vending machine for the energy drink and, of course, the TV. Inside of here is going to be what looks like a library. There's going to be a piano in the middle of it. Inside of here is going to be the sheet music sitting right on top. The next one is going to be located where Momo is. Momo is one of the notebook Owners, we are going to eventually acquire it from him as part of the story, but we need to go and get a sheet music in here. There's also a memory. Now, just a forewarning, you're going to end the chapter or at least progress the chapter to the next area after completing the notebook thing and talking to Momo here. I would recommend getting all the sheet music memories and everything and all the trophies related to this chapter before you complete that task. So that was where the memory was located. There's going to be sheet music inside of this room. There's also another paper bag if you haven't gotten that trophy yet. And that is sheet music number one. Now the next one is going to be one you buy from a character called Azuz. He is near where you push the basketball for the slam dunk trophy. You need to buy it. It costs one energy drink can. So there's four energy drink machine vending machines. You just need to find one of them to be able to purchase that. You will need four energy drinks ultimately to get the memory as well that he sells. Now, once you've acquired all eight of them, we're going to get the music badge and the Mia uh, Meowlity trophy. We do have to first turn in each pieces of music, and this takes a little while as he goes through it. Maybe you can run away and come back. I'm not entirely sure, but he will play each of the songs, and I don't believe you can cancel it out. And if you can, please let me know in the comments. So there we go. Once you've gone through all of them and it takes, it might take up to 10 minutes, you will then get the badge and also the trophy. If this video and this guide was helpful to you, let me know that by hitting the like button. I'd appreciate it. And of course, if you're a trophy hunter, make sure you subscribe.